basically environment variables are two types in the cell programming. So one is called user defined variable, second one is called a system defined variable. The first one user defined variable, the user defined variables are represented lowercase, small letters only, but the system defined environment variables are represent uppercase one. Now. We have two types only. So, but you run the ELV command, you can show the list of all the running environment variables as a user defined, system defined, all environment variable can source also. GitHub is a folder under, under KM, KM is under home only. So, the whole path called a prod directory. Prod directory is the environment variable, it can show the whole path actually, it can whole path can store actually. So, you can see the, the variable before can mention the dollar, but you might print the value of the variable, okay. You just you can see the, the path of the path. You can see cd command change directory. I want to go to my project folder and go immediately wherever I want. Okay. How to create a user different environment variable? Export command. Export. Okay. Export command and variable name and value. Variable name. Uh, variable name, for example, project, project dir, project directory, my project directory. Okay. The, the value is a slash home km km github. GitHub. So now print the value of the variable. How to print the value? Echo dollar project directory. Now, now clear now. Export the command. Create a environment variable. The user defined variable can create now. The variable to environment within the cell. Okay, run the cell. Okay. Can see prod they are is a variable. What value tell me? This is the variable value now. Okay, now I can see how to print the value of the variable, a code dollar. Like that, you can create like an export uh, variable name is ABC, the value called 1, 2, 3. Now you can pin the variable value. Okay, the ABC, what value? 1, 2, 3. So that the variable you can store whatever, integer, float, whatever you can store, then you know, the, the, the variable, you can see you now. The variable, the value, you can see you now. The prod dr is one variable, ABC is one variable. You can pin the value of the variable. See how clear now. Variable variable, okay. So now, if you I want to go to the this folder, how to go to this folder? General CD space, the whole path is given actually. But the, you know, the initial the path is given, whole path just mention only for this one only sufficient, okay. CD dollar prod directory, that's all. So nothing but now the variable, what is the value of the variable? You are going to this path actually, the path you are going actually. That you can see, yeah, now I'm going to this path, km underscore github path. Can see present working directory. My path is this my path or not? My path I'm going now. No, I enter this path actually. Debug is a one more environment variable. The value equal to one. So actually before you can run the binary file, the binary file, okay? So the binary file in the running time, it can check the debug environment variable. They can check the variable. The value equal to one. You can show the debug information, okay? The, the application you can show the debug information or not. Okay, like that, if you want debugging also, very helpful actually. So, like a debugging environment variable. So, they are the user defined. Okay, user can create whatever variable you want according to your requirement. Okay, whatever variable create and put the value can do it. But system defined also there because system defined standard environment variable. System defined environment variables are recommended to uppercase. You can see all uppercase will be there. So some variables you can see also. For example, home is the environment variable. Tell about your home directory. Okay, and then you can see you know, the cell is the environment variable. Tell about your cell direct cell cell type, which cell you are using. User is the environment variable. Tell about user name. Term, which is the terminal we are using. Tell about terminal. You can just print the system defined environment variable. Print echo. One tell me one variable of system defined. User is the one variable. Yeah, one user name km. Okay, a system defined. User and one more environment variable home or home slash home km okay my home directory and uh, you know, like that you can print like a term which terminal I'm using uh, external I'm using so like that you know, you know, they all are system defined okay the system defined uppercase system defined environment variable so if you run env command env command you can see the list of all environment variables now you can see all environment variables you see also you can see the all environment variables now. Home environment variable. PWD, present working that is also environment variable is there. User environment variable. Path environment variable. Path. For example, we have multiple, you know, the, the VM editor, Emac, 
and nano multiple editors are there but default which editor we are going to use so that is for the editor environment variable so either you could be is the default vm editor run by default okay which editor you can use you know, we have primary display second display which which display you are going to use display environment variable you can choose and host name a host name is a you know the unique name of your system okay username different host name is different okay every library path so dynamic library path that is save library path in your system where the files are located the path telling clearly okay this environment variable man path man is manual pages now i told last session also manual pages now we have commands are the ls command copy command every command man page with there command documentation the command documentation by itself command by itself only otherwise you can use the no, man page also manual page also you can run also man command okay so man space system core man space library so the, the where is the manual page in your system or no, the man path environment where will tell you clearly so and the path path environment where the command tree where, where all commands were located the path environment where will tell you printer okay we have multiple printers in our system you know there may be multiple which printer are going printing in the local and working three four printers are there i want print the first one second one which one so we can decide the printer environment and the environment variable so like that they all the system defined okay they all standard environment variable in your linux alias okay. uh, i think your people you know the alias like a shortcut actually Uh, because sometimes your command is very bigger command, very bigger command. You can create your own shortcut. Okay, use a different shortcut you can create. Uh, for example, you can see, you know, the, uh, you can people observe now. Okay, so ls space hyphen l a nothing but ls on now. When now you can type ls, always this come this one run action. Always run now. So generally ls behave different. You run ls command, you can just to throw the list of the file. There no long format by default. No long format actually. But now on what? When you run the alias, now on what? You can show the value also clearly. You can show also. Okay. Yeah. And rm command. Rm command is the remove. No, the no the command. No the uh, rm nothing but hyphen is interactively remove. Okay. Interactively yeah. before remove, you can ask the confirmation. Okay. The interactively can remove it all. So rm command. Your party command. The whole thing is a very bigger command. Shortcut now. So all alias is shortcut now. Alias nothing but like that. Okay. But Oh, I said alias ls equal to okay uh, ls space hyphen la okay yeah now now one what ls that you can see the difference here not so now you can see before alias you can see before alias ls output is like that okay there no long format okay but you now the one alias after alias you can see you know you can show the you know the you know the long the ls that you can show the long format But the A is get indicate all all the files can show also everything file all the files can show long form actually so here here the variables are called environment variables. Uh, what is the mean environment? Okay, now the the cell how the uh, now the I think either some kind of is a terminal uh, running some terminal in the terminal now the now the we have we can run some multiple application okay now the every application can understand some variable also. Now you can see the. Where you can use the environment variable practically. So here, bigger bomb block kernel source code is there. So we are going to compile the kernel source code. We are using the make command. Here, two environment variables are there. Arc, nothing but which architecture you are going to compile. That is ARM. In case Intel processor x86, Power PC, Power PC like that. So the Linux kernel support various type of the architecture, but Arc is the environment variable decide. Which architecture you are going to compile a kernel source code, and the cross compile is the one more environment variable. It decide which tool chain you are using to compile. So now the architecture ARM definitely we can use the tool chain ARM to compile a kernel source code. So the two environment variables, kernel build system can understand and compile according to the configuration. So this is one of the example we are practically you can use to compile the kernel source code, compile a bootloader, compile Android source code. So this is one of the way. For example, I run some you know, the, uh, like a browser, some Firefox browser. The browser can execution time, you need some variable, okay, understand the some variable. We need to satisfy some kind of you know, the, you know, the information like a, the binary database, some libraries also, the top part library, some library is required, uh, you know, the, because execution time. Because the dynamic library concept, execution time needs library. 
the library you know, want somebody to go very well able to pay there that's why there is an environment available the manager for execution time to find out some file the file we don't know where in your system the file somewhere in your system but some environment where we tell about the, the file located here only some path and actually okay so that, that is a requirement i'm sure no so for example you know, uh, i am going on some binary file the binary file needs some configuration of the system my, my application configuration system configuration so i need some kind of the file information required but the file location where the location the location to about the some environment variable so like that environment is there you know, some setup of your system then the environment variables are there in the cell basically call you know the, because the cell script run the way in this the command prompt okay is a, is a, is a command line application the command line you are executing so the command environment we need to decide okay 